I ain't folding under pressure, I ain't switching for no hoe. I ain't talking to no cop and I ain't telling on my bros. Ain't no killer, but don't push me fingers itching on that pole. Niggas. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex. I'm back in with another video. And today I got the Lions versus the Dolphins preview. Now, before I get into the preview, I just have to say we are hitting a milestone, approaching a milestone. In this video, uh, we should actually hit that milestone. As I can see, I am about 1.4 thousand views from 1 million total views on the channel. And I just want to thank everybody for watching the videos, the haters, the the supporters, more, more likely the supporters, okay? Even the haters, y'all contribute to this because if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't have a million views right now. I would probably have like 900K because like 100,000 of my views straight haters, okay? Bruh. But for the most part, it's all love. Uh, shout out to people who don't agree with everything I say but still come to every video and still support it and understand and listen to my opinion on things. A lot of people... Uh, sub to my channel uh, because they agree with my videos like the one video they saw on me and then later on uh, Like two videos later. I'll say something they don't agree with and next thing you know it'd be like K flex and then unsub or comment call me a dumbass blah, blah blah Shout out to the people who you know even when I say something y'all don't agree with y'all still watch my videos Because y'all understand that it's just my opinion and yeah, I just want to say Shout out to everybody for a million a million viewers. I I, I, do, I know I would get to, I won't say I never thought I would get to a million views I knew I would get to a million views I didn't know how, I didn't know when, but I knew I would get to a million views. Still crazy, I remember uh, getting, not even getting a thousand views on each video I was doing. I remember back in the day, I used to edit videos uh, literally all night. I would edit Madden videos and I wouldn't get a thousand views on them. I never cared because my heart was in it, so I didn't really care. And, you know, I don't want to get too deep into this, but thank you guys for um, the million views. And, you know, I, I, I'm... If it wasn't for you, you know, I would not be doing this right now. And y'all guys have made me the, you know, the biggest, best... Dolphins channel on the planet, all right? Well, I want to say the biggest. I don't know if I'm the best. Yeah, I'm the best. I'm just thankful for you guys. You know, I I, I, I made a decision to keep it real. I, I could have a lot more subs if I would have just, you know, hold my tongue, bite my tongue on some things. You know, if I didn't have an intro song that said, I ain't talking to no cops and I ain't telling them my bros. A lot Bruh. of people that bros, people the wrong way. Like, it's a lot of shit that I did, that I do, that I know, hey, if I didn't do this, I could actually probably grow. But I was like, you know, just be true to myself. By the way, I am changing my intro soon, by the way. But anyways, I, I just decided, you know, be true to myself and, you know, everything else is going to work out. And everything else has worked out. You know, I know I understand when I make a negative video on Adam Gates or, or, or Ryan Tannehill. I understand, you know, I calculate the risk to it. I calculate how it will affect my subs, my dislikes, and all that. I already know all that. Trust me. I don't just upload videos and not think about what I'm uploading. So, you know, I, I always have to make a decision of what do I want to upload this and keep it all the way real, or do I, or do I want to just not say nothing because I don't want to lose subs or lose or, or or make people mad. And I, I always choose the first one to keep it real because you know it got me this far and I'm gonna continue. But anyway, thank you guys. Let's get into the video. Now we had the Dolphins versus the Lions, and honestly, guys, this is a game that if the Dolphins are flipping a switch, they should win this game, okay, easily, okay. If the Dolphins is for real, you know what I'm saying. This is gonna be this is the easiest game that we done played in the last since damn the Jets or whatever. Like the Lions are two and three. Now the Lions are a team that beat teams that they was probably supposed to lose to and lost to teams they probably was supposed to beat. They have wins against the Patriots and the Packers, two of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. They have losses against the Jets and the and the the Jets and the 49ers. Like, you know what I'm saying? And the Dallas Cowboys. That's who their losses came to. But they beat the Patriots in the Jets. I mean, the Patriots in the Packers. Now, this got to be a game where Brock Osweiler performs, okay? Because this defense that we're, that we're going to go up against, uh, it's not that good. I'm going to start with our offense versus that defense. That defense is not that good. They cannot stop the run at all. Um, they, they rank, like, top five in the league in most rush yards given up. They can't stop the run at all, okay? All right, they, they, they can't stop opponents from scoring. They're giving up a lot of points in the league. It's like top five in the league with how much points they're giving up, like 24 points a game. They're giving up a lot of points, okay? The only game where they actually stopped an opponent was the Patriots. And if y'all know, Matt Patricia is the head coach of the Detroit Lions, okay? He was the defensive coordinator for the Patriots for since like 2012, okay? And even before that, he was working in other various uh, places within New England. So he was with the New England organization since 2004. He has been with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady since 2004 all the way till last year, okay? So if it's one team they should have stopped, it should have been the damn Patriots, okay? And they did do that. So I don't really judge that Patriots game. They're beating the Patriots. Uh, I don't really judge that too much because they should have won that game. The dude was literally should have knew everything the Patriots was running. They've been there for forever, okay? So that win is a win. It's a solid win, yeah, but whatever okay then they beat the packers and the packers missed what four field goals that game and they still put up like what 20 
Hold up. Yeah, they still put up 23 points with four missed field goals. So even if they made two of those, they, they drop about 29, almost 30 points, okay? The Lions haven't stopped anybody from really scoring over 20 besides the Patriots and the, and the Packers. That's the only two teams they, they stopped over scoring 25 on them, okay? So this is a game where I'm looking at Brock Osweiler, and I'm saying you should be able to score on them, and you shouldn't even have to be on you. It should really be us running the ball. We, we should not give up on the run. This team can't run. I mean, this team can't stop the run at all, okay? Look at the numbers. This team can't stop the run, so we should never give up on the run. But if Brock Osweiler does have to beat him, he should be able to do it if he's even decent, okay? If Dak Prescott can get a W over these people, Brock Osweiler should be able to get a W over these people. I'm just, I, I'm just saying. No disrespect. Well, that, that was really disrespect. I don't care. No disrespect. We should be able to. I just feel like we have to run the ball. Look, um, any team that's ran the ball for over 20 times on this Lions team has won, okay? If you look at the Jets game, they ran the ball a lot, won the game. Isaiah Crow had, Crowell had over 100 yards. You look at the Cowboys game, they ran the ball over 25 times. Zeke had over, I think Zeke did have 25 carries, uh, over 100 yards. They won the game. You look at the um, the 49ers game, uh, Matt Breda, I think he averaged like 10 yards to carry on them, okay? I think he went over 100 yards, and they won the game, okay? The only two games that they lost was against two teams who didn't really run the ball over 20 times. The Pages didn't run the ball over 20 times, and they lost. And then the Packers didn't run the ball because they were losing all game, and they lost. So be able to run the ball on this team, and we run over 20 times, the, the numbers say we're going to win, okay? If, if we're able to be have success, we're running the ball. I mean, if we can't pull this one out, then, yeah, Tannehill got to come back. And, I mean, Tannehill probably has to come back anyway, but – if we can't pull this one out, Kenny Hill definitely has to come back. This defense is just not that great. Now they do have great sack numbers, okay? They they get to the quarterback, but as far as run stopping, they can't they can't stop the run, okay? And we throw a lot of quick passes to where are they gonna be able to get to Brock Osweiler? I don't know, right? And uh, and how our line just blocked against Khalil Mack and the Chicago Bears, the King Hicks and all that. I think we should be able to block them just fine. I think we should be able to block the Lions just fine, honestly. But I think if our offense doesn't score at least uh, 25 this game, I'll be disappointed, okay? I'll be thoroughly disappointed if our offense will score. At home, too, this is a Lions team with Matt Patricia, who is, what, 1-4 with the Patriots as defensive coordinator against Miami when Miami was at home, okay? It's different situations. That was with Tom Brady and the Patriots, Okay. Now he's with the Lions, okay, a whole different roster, a whole different, not, not the greatest quarterback of all time, and he has to beat us in Miami. I, when he was 1-4 with the Patriots in Miami over the last two years, two, three years, I mean, Miami put up a lot of points in them games on the Patriots. So we are so familiar with this defense like they would be familiar with the, our offense, though, right? Because he's been up against Gates a couple times now, Okay. And so he should be familiar with our offense, but we should be familiar with, our de with their defense. This is not be something that we don't know, okay? They're not as talented as the Patriots were, are as far as offense goes. This is a game where I just don't see – I could see us losing, obviously, any game. Is, is any given Sunday, anything could happen. But if we play our game, this is not a game where I see we should be underdogs, and I don't I don't think we should lose this game at all. Look at our defense. We have Bob McCain back, uh, Cameron Wake back, Andre Brands back, I'm pretty sure. Charles Harris is hurt. But, I mean, like, look. If y'all look at the team statistics versus us when we when we have Bobby McCain and our whole secondary healthy, there was only one touchdown thrown on us, okay? It was one touchdown thrown on us to five interceptions. When when Rashad Jones went out, that's when, you know, quarterbacks started throwing touchdowns on us, okay? Before Rashad Jones got hurt, when we, ha we had Bobby McCain still and we had Minka in the slot and everything was, we had all star to the secondary, there was only one touchdown thrown on us to five interceptions, Okay? If you look at a lot of these teams that be throwing the ball on us now, when you look at the Patriots uh, game, well, Xavier Howard did struggle a little bit in the Patriots game, but you'll see a lot of the time, a lot of these teams was picking on court, uh, Troy McTire. And I'm not saying Troy McTire was terrible, but he was just the weakest link on the defense. With Bobby McCain back, we don't have a weakest link. All our star and secondary has turnovers for us, okay? Every one of them has interceptions, okay? Between Bobby McCain has an interception, uh, Xavier Howard has an interception, T.J. McDonald has an interception, Rashad Jones has an interception, Mika Fitzpatrick has, everybody can create turnovers. Kiko Alonso's playing like a pro ball. Everybody can create turnovers on our defense. It's going to be hard for them to move the ball on us, okay? It should be, at least. Okay, Matthew Stafford's a good, good quarterback, but their run game has never been that great, okay? They have a better running back than Carryon. I think his name is Carryon Johnson. He's a, good, he's a good running back, okay? He averages a lot of yards per carry, but he doesn't get all the carries that he probably should get. Uh, LeGarrette Blunt, you know, splits the carries with him. And LeGarrette Blunt, we should be able to tackle him. He's a big target. Like Derrick Henry, we were able to shut down Derrick Henry. We could shut down Derrick LeGarrette Blunt, okay? 
If we shut down that run like like everybody has done historically, okay, the Lions haven't had a good brother in them forever, okay? Before Kerryon Johnson ran for 100 yards against the Patriots, they hadn't had a 100-yard rusher since Reggie Bush, and they haven't had a 100-yard rusher since. So they really can't run the ball. So if you can't run the ball against the Miami Dolphins, which is our one weakness for real, then you're not going to beat us. So if we if we just stop the run at the beginning, okay, force them to pass, and we're, we're going to beat them, okay? I, I, I just I like the matchup. I, I like the matchup overall. The only thing that concerns me is if Matthew Stafford plays like completely unconscious and just like throws the greatest passes of all time because like I said, they do have a better quarterback than us. But other than that, I just don't see you. If our secondary is as good as they looked in those first two games with all of them healthy, I, I don't see us losing this game. I don't see how, I, I mean, I see it because we could lose any game, but we should not lose this game. It should not It should not lose. I, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be easy. No game is easy, now, but we should, we should just not lose this. We should, Besides quarterback, they have absolutely no advantage on us, okay? Besides quarterback position. They have no advantage on us on the field, okay? Their receivers are pretty good, too. Kenny Galladay and uh, Golden Tate and Marvin Jones. But we have the – honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. From what I've seen, the Miami Dolphins had the best secondary in the league, all right? I trust those guys. I, I, I'm just – I'm keeping it real. There is no weak league on that secondary. And I'm looking at the, I look at the Rams. The Rams, they be getting cooked sometimes. I mean, I like the Rams, but uh, Tlaib is hurt. So, if you guys can name me a better secondary, I'm all ears. But from what I'm looking at, Miami Dolphins got the best secondary in the league. All right? So, we should be able to shut them down. Anyways, guys, your running game is not strong like the Lions are. And you're going up against the best secondary in the league. That leads me to believe that, you know, they're going to struggle on offense. One thing I would like to see in this game, though, is get into the quarterback. Because that's how you mess up. These great quarterbacks, and I don't know, if, I don't know if I should call Matthew Stafford great or good, but that's how you mess up these good quarterbacks. You got to get to them, get pressure in their face, and make them mess up. Our our line, you know, our defense has been playing good, but our line has been underwhelming. If you look at the sack numbers, it's near the bottom of the league. Uh, Cameron Wake only has one sack. Robert Quinn only has one sack. We're gonna need more from the defensive ends, and if we get more from the defensive ends, that's when the defense is really gonna get scary. All in all, man, I see this game. I see this game ending 31 to 14. Miami Dolphins win. I think we get our first ball of the season. I, I just I don't see, I don't see, I mean, I, I hate to, like, I, it, it sounds like I'm sleeping on the Lions, but I'm really not. It's just that I don't see how they should beat us. I mean, they shouldn't, okay? I, it would have to be some <laughs> like some, some, some Cincinnati Bengals, two interceptions off some reflected ball bullshit. Like, it would have to be the most, like, the most fluke ever happened for us to lose this game because just the matchup, like, it's either going to have to be Matthew Stafford playing unconscious or the most fluke like, ever, ever happens, okay? Other than that, I just don't see us losing this game. Or, 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 Brock Oswald that goes back to Brock Oswald, okay? That's, that's the only way. I, other than that, I like the matchup. Like I said, run the ball 20 times. The, the Lions haven't beat anybody who's ran the ball 20 times on them. We know this defense just about as good as anybody else should know it. I mean, we went, went up against Matt Patricia a lot of times. Uh, we got our full secondary back on our secondary. Uh, albeit it was against Sam Donald and Marcus Mariota and Blaine Gabbert. But those guys shut down everybody when they were fully healthy, okay? We didn't start slipping until Rashad Jones got hurt. And then we played the Oakland Raiders. And that's when the, our defense started getting ca pass caught on us. But before that game, we was locking down everybody, okay? So with that being said, man, I'm expecting big things this game. Like I said, the Lions do up a lot of points. I'm expecting big things. Let me know what you guys think about... Uh, this game, what do y'all think is going to happen? What do y'all think is going to make the difference between a win and a loss? Why do y'all think we're going to lose? If y'all think we're going to lose, why do y'all think we're going to win? Like, comment, subscribe. What is up, Kenny Wade? Thank you guys for me. Views, I'm out.